gave me a ride I couldn't refuse. After listening, a loud boom and bang inside his chest, full of abbreviations that don't make a sense to my own dangs. We drove the blade of street light like a fisherman's drink with his wife after they finished what wasn't meant to be. Masketeering, drug, lost he, and they took him back to the chair, soft and green. The book didn't start telling the truth, hiding as always something on the page 127. Look back, you just passed the chance, one of those inexplicable faculties among the given packaged ones. It were they open to the world of confusion and order. Lost me, you lost me. I'm so cute with you and losing all my sugar while forgetting the main subject of my message in the form of a magnificent title painted in gold on red, but you always change it to bluish black. So be it. The clown changed his attitude. His can of beans is boiling, so be careful. Wear your belt on the last position and don't breathe this acid air. The curtain threw the shadow on her face, so we didn't see her smile, and that saved our porks. Just in moment later, the director quit the scene, running to the door to save something he forgot, so save all his life. Without it, he was naked like a goose under lots of garlic. We didn't dare to drink the rest of the soy milk. It was proposed as an afternoon breakfast. Do they even imagine about the results, question mark? A red bottle would be better instead of this paper towel, and I can tell it gave her goosebumps and the earrings started to travel back and forth without any permission from the owner of the bar just an hour before the nap time. We knew it all ahead of time, but we didn't know what time is beside the fact that our clocks stopped and the children next door started their daily game of hitting an orange ball against the pavement. Bang, 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 bang. Nostalgia is so large, so magnificent, 
so involved, so unpredictable and demanding of your attention to her most minute moves, even though nothing moved since the last Ice Age, and those who participated in it as janitors of the future, reflections of today's wants and wishes that bring and take at will as much as one can bear at once or twice. I'm not sure now, but I wish somebody came to my apartment when I leave it open and deliver that needed word just in time, although one hour here and there wouldn't make any difference in this particular story that happened to be in his pocket of a great depth, despite the fact that nobody ever measured its width, not even mentioning its origin, but who cares anyway? This is where they might take a break, and when they come back, it will be done even without their other constituents. And in that case, there will be a note or two played on piano or a grand version of it. And the musician would fly his tails in the most graceful manner, just like his Tudor Herr Stock taught him last year, when his son just started to learn how to become a melancholic offspring of the last half century in Brazil. And maybe his another view was just as critical, just as massive as her blown cheeks during the composition played or listened to and fro and mo and go, go, go. Well, you know, such a bliss. Such a glory, such a miserable plagiarism of the current flow of events, I wouldn't even start to list all of what was supposed and proposed by those little organizations that didn't last even a quarter of measure described in my super leather notepad filled up with messages to my own reactivity to the apparent doings, but not what one might suppose to guess. But sort of a neglect, in a sense, that wanted them to be in the background of all this repetitions, not once, not twice, not even one hundredfold. But the number that got stuck in my mind doesn't appear to be real. Real to whom, you might ask, and I wouldn't hurry to convey to you or to those who sent you to my premises, but I would just stand up as tall as I am, and my voice will not be brutal at all. It will be significant and doubtful, like an eagle, like a giant squirrel that traces a school of pyramidical in shape porcupines under a spell of being little typing machines that repeat and repeat and say it, it to my voice in a fashion of red and blue, you, your, oh, oh. Dilapidated breakfast made the cat easy on her understanding of what is prestige 
and what to become of that smile that was constructed of several blocks of ice in a bucket full of tomatoes from the anarchist garden in the middle of industrial district of Columbia. Several of the chosen individuals will travel to Mars and become friends on the way back. They bring carts full of emptiness, thus engaging the rest of the waiting crowd in their seats, chewing on carrots like real gray rabbits that are quite ready to give their fur to other less fortunate creatures whose scale is so shiny and iridescent that it attracts biologists so colorblind that they have to ask a policeman at every intersection where to find a drugstore to buy a pack of razors because sharpness is good and also because the salesman there married the daughter of the inspector of dog cabins on the left side of everybody's brain. My only concern is my own explosiveness when time tell me to digest the words written in stone, but well forgotten, despite the fact that the memory became so cheap and capacity driven, that's it for now. I see the water becoming ice and ice becoming a question of the unspoken song or dance or a drawing in my diary. The dream didn't mean anything besides some very remote and distant, far from the truth locally produced pleasures. The game, on the other hand, went out of any practical use that became a play. Actors gathered in some empty hotel trying to dance jigga and pretending that they are clowns, although not very sad or funny as usual in this part of town. This all gave him a new perspective on the issue concerning the outer planets of the same mass as was expected. Mesmerized, he waited the rest on the corner of 27th and Cornell with a slight hope to come back with a full bag of something he hunted all winter cold and wet. But in those moments of free range aggregation, he was happy and as a result, creative. They paid with pockets full of seeds. Some of them were as large as an eye of an ostrich even though nobody have seen one during the expedition. She knew him well, and she returned his glance. They heated the room with some wasted glam. Most of it, anyway, was from their past lust. To loose, anyone can say it when alone, but open your mouth when the guillotine is up, and the boring days in take as a surprise, becoming the enemy number one, only to discover the other side of the giving hand pointing at your inner soft spot just because it's there available to you as a single to most of the crowd that watch your head rolling down the path laid with used cotton swabs in the lizard cave to be exact to be fair to be honest to be in touch with your width of mid in order to break it loose and shimmer fell onto the brim of the hat, giving just the right shade to the watchful eye, colored green, to contradict the motion of the cramp crawling up to your neck, 
for better view of the executive crew with twisted fingers on the map of the swamp where frogs take their turn to sing your epitaph, written in stone above the lunch you took so eagerly to slim your guts, this, that, those, and he refused to drink the rest of the grog, melted to the point of blood, still warm, still red, still wanting to live it through. And she gave him a thumb up, 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 encouraging in him, her. Because what was promised was delivered to the step way above their raised up eyes, looking but not seeing, shown to them show about the bull and his lost identity, a polite provider of refined entertainment specially designed for aesthetically impaired adults, dully chosen by their size. Rather, what was denied to the rest of the proposed melons of red and orange and even blue if that's what you want to own as your ultimate protection against some future revolutions against the lactose intolerant janitor brigadiers looking for only their own perseverance in the business of free domination in predominant chords of major tone in contrast to what they forgot to eat while fasting in the name of being gastronomically correct and individually persistent like that cut-out portrait of the Mao on the wall of the Minister of Baseball hat league that pays no respect to propelled out of mind course of action so timid, so vile, so colorful and discreet and modest in its own set of values. So, so, so stop repeating the same line again and again and again unless it's required. In that case, just do your morning steaming and ironing of the master's gown to be in line, to be professionally mature and spanky in the following duties as it's prescribed by the notebook gladly provided but not received in the same manner as one would expect dealing with a ball.
He gave you a rubber wheel to measure your stone soul to be correct all the time, being on top of the bookcase full of Karl Marx's diaries of his diarrhea, so useful to the population that followed his most beloved milk merchant for his grass-fed hoofs and a horse tail in the summer of 1883, when the Napoleon army was remembered at the triangle table drinking molasses very slowly, enjoying every word he said while being under tremendous pressure from his red-nosed illegal wife who danced for money in the meat industry gathering where only one dollar was donated to the cause of belly shaking while entirely forgetting some trick in bellies with buttons of some important assignment that nobody could remember and explain. But the order of the first degree stood as hard as the icicles on the roof of the emperor of the red hat with a fuzzy ball played too hard to my taste because what was promised was delivered to the step way above their raised up eyes looking but not seeing shown to them show about the bull and his lost identity of a polite provider of revival.
Thank you. 